This is a stylistic choice. What is? <laughs> Starting with, with some banter right before we actually officially oh, start. Oh, are we recording? Maybe. Well, you got to tell me we're recording. You didn't do the one, two, three thing. <laughs> Welcome, dear listeners, to the Dink and the Round podcast, where the only thing we're birthing is laughter. I'm your host, Jeff. And I'm your better host, Becky. We're here to share how life after parenting still holds plenty of excitement, laughter, and some questionable financial decisions. So open up that bar tab and let's roll those intros. Intros. Oh, guess who's not the better host this time? (laughs) Roll the intro tunes. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, Today's podcast will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, Originally, we had planned on a different topic. Yeah, we had. We kind of had to shake things up a little bit. We we had to pivot. We did have to pivot. Pivot! (laughs) Love that scene. One of the best scenes ever. I'm not a fan of, of friends, of the fan, the fan of the friends. There we go. Wow. Mouth has to work today. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for no, the listeners. No, it wasn't. No. Not a big f- fan of Friends. There we go. Um, but but that is a pretty funny scene. I'll, I'll give it to you. So originally, we were going to do a podcast on our concerts, and we will do that. Mm-hmm. But we were going to go see who? We were going to go see Pink in concert. Mm-hmm. But then it was postponed because she's sick. Oh. I know. It's very sad. I was more sad about it than I probably should have been. Yeah. So, because of that, we decided this one will be the one about having to deal. Mm -hmm. Because life throws things at you. It does. And you just have to deal with it. Because if you don't, then you die. (laughs) I I guess. guess. Or you're miserable. Well, that too. Yeah. So, you just got to be ready to... Pivot! Mm -hmm. (laughs) Pivot. Pivot. So, what did we end up doing? Well, okay, so... We, it took a minute to figure out what we were going to do instead, because as I mentioned before, I was very disappointed. So we, while we were doing that, we kind of just hung out around the house. We played a random Monopoly while we waited. And then we went out to dinner and saw uh, this up and coming artist, I guess I would say. Mm -hmm. He was pretty decent. Just at a restaurant bar place. Uh, Brenton Lawson. Yes, right? that was Brenton his name. Lawson. He was pretty good. Yeah, we went to uh, a, a a place that is a style of music and an adult beverage is what it was called. I'm not naming it because they're not a sponsor mm-hmm. yet. Yet, maybe they will be. <laughs> maybe they will be. Uh, Brenton, though, very good. Uh, he has a song on uh, iTunes and YouTube, so if you want to hear it, check it out. Uh, we got a little excited because he started playing some 90s mm-hmm. stuff for us. So Yeah, we were sitting at the table kind of close to him, and so he could hear and see our reactions. Yes. He probably thought we were two old people when we were doing that. And he called us the backstage folks. Did he you did. hear that? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was very nice of him. He even came over and said hi during his he did. break. Yeah. yeah. Very well, nice. It was nice to, to meet him. It was very nice to meet him. So... Uh, and the Monopoly game, the, the aforementioned Monopoly game, mm-hmm. I will have to succumb to the fact that I, who have a bit of a uh, reputation for being the Monopoly champion, was taken down. That's right. By the better host, Becky. Mm-hmm. The game picture. took two days to play. It did. Because that's how Monopoly goes. But I eventually... Triumphed. triumphed. Yes, yeah. you did. You triumphed. Um, and it all comes down to, to the secret three properties. I owned most of the board. She mm-hmm. had the secret three properties. We shan't mention the secret three properties. You don't want to give away your secret? No, no, no. In case we're ever having a public monopoly tournament <laughs> for okay. Dink Nation, mm-hmm. all our non-existent listeners. I mean, yeah. 
We could play Monopoly with ourselves. It's fine. We're, we're going to play with ourselves? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Roll the dice a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Some champion hands. Champion hands. Champion hands. Champion hands. It was the champion hands that did it. It was the champion hands that did it. You're, you're the expert at champion hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we enjoyed the concert. We, we thought that was good. The food mm-hmm. was good. The food was good. Yeah. I had a gigantic margarita that I regretted. You did? I did not realize it would be so large. I had what they were calling a new fashioned, mm-hmm. which was basically just an old fashioned. But with extra cinnamon. It had cinnamon, simple syrup. And I don't know if I was a fan of that. Mm-hmm. It was okay. It was just a little bit spicy. Spicy. And then I had a flight of beer. Mm-hmm. as well that was hit or miss but pretty that's decent. why you get a flight that's right it's a virtual smorgasbord of different types of it's a beer smorgasbord a beer <laughs> that's hard to say say that one five times fast ready to go smorgasbord i can't <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last very long at all no, it Did didn't. It? nope i'm lucky i could even say it one time yes so, so back to the, the uh, theme of our show. So we, we, so we decided to talk about pivots, but be, before we talk about uh, pivoting and, and learning to deal, right, uh, I did want to say that thanks to our lovely better host, Becky, uh, we do now have an email address. Oh, yep, we do. Dinknaround at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And our Instagram is dinknaroundpod. That's right. So we, we do have those two things established. Mm-hmm. We have gotten ourselves on Spotify and tr- apparently on Google, but we can't find ourselves. Yeah, so, so we're still working on that. I think we're going to have to investigate that a little bit. Yes, investigation. 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 Um, okay, so back, so, back, so back to the pivoting. Yeah, pivoting. Pivoting. I will say it is very helpful when you need to pivot in life to have a partner on your side true true i will give you that because i mean like when i'm down then you're able to kind of think with a clearer head and vice versa so that is very nice and i appreciate that very much that's true and i i appreciate it too you know why because i love you Aww. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny yeah, it is funny you're right it's hilarious often though pivots turn out like you might think that they're disappointing Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. at the beginning Mm -hmm. but then it tends to turn out pretty decent yes so like for example this concert thing i was really bummed and it sucked but we ended up having a really good time and we got to see a artist that we hadn't thought of and wouldn't see otherwise Mm -hmm. so that's very helpful i i know it sounds like first world problems this is when you're a dink it a lot of times it is first world problems Mm -hmm. i guess when we're talking about it Another first world problem we ran into the other day is we have a very favorite uh, Indian restaurant that we like to go to, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we decided to do that for date night. We we have a date night every Tuesday, mm-hmm. or most Tuesdays when we can. If not, we 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 pivot. We do. We'll shift it around to a different day that we can't right. do on Tuesday. But usually Tuesday evening is is our uh, a date night. Gives you a little something to look forward to on. The beginning of the week, which yeah, Mondays historically kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, mega missing you Mondays. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we we went there. It said it was open on the Google. We've mm-hmm. never had it not open, but they were closed that yeah, I day. I wonder if they changed their hours or something because they we've been there on Tuesdays before. I don't know. It is delicious though. Um, so uh, we we quickly did a search and found another one. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've been to several Indian places now. Just, you know, to lay it all out there on the table, I did not like Indian food. I think anybody who's back in Utah that may be listening to this and was like, Jeff, Indian food? No. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because the Indian food you can get in Utah is not, I don't know if it's just not authentic or if it's just not good. Right. Agreed. But it's subpar compared to here where the South Asian population is greater. And so you've got... A bigger selection of places to choose from and better competition between those places it tends to be tastier agreed um and so but but we've tried several places here too and while they're okay Mm -hmm. that's definitely our favorite i would yeah i would agree with that yeah so um didn't have it had had tried lots of other places so we just kind of uh the last minute you having a problem with your eye there Mm mm-hmm 
you it's know, okay. I'm okay. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so we, we Googled one, Mm -hmm. (laughs) which brings up a great pivot story. A great pivot story. Yeah. So University of Utah fans here, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know what the story is now. Uh, so, uh, two years ago, right? It was the first year that we made the Pac-12 championship. All super yeah. ready to watch it. Was super excited. It was on New Year's, if I remember correctly. I think so, yeah. yeah. But it was right after the height of the pandemic. Right. People were starting to go out more, but it was not. Right, right. Uh, it, that's right, because we tried to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm-hmm. But the whole reason we were trying to go to Buffalo Wild Wings is because our former internet provider, mm-hmm. which shall not be named and will not be a sponsor. No. They decided <laughs> to take a dookie on that day. Yeah. And so, it, not only the internet, but the cable. Mm-hmm. Well, they were bundled. Yes, bundled. Mm-hmm. I want my nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, the uh, so so at the last minute when we found out we weren't getting cable back after some frantic phone calls, and I'm sure again they were like, "Man, these people, first mm-hmm. world problems." Yeah. It's just a football game. Yeah, just a, just a football game. Mm-hmm. People in Texas know it's not just no, no. Um, so so we decided that we were going to go down to Buffalo Wild Wings to watch this because we figured you know it, we called a couple sports bars that were close to us. Nobody was having it, so we knew Buffalo Wild Wings usually would would do that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So we drove down to Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, and it, it when we got there, it said that they didn't have enough staffing. Yeah, on the so door. Closed. Yeah. So they were not going to open until later. And we were, what, five minutes from the game starting mm-hmm. by now? Yeah. So we did a, a, a quick search on the internet. Enhance. Enhance. And uh, there was a sports bar that was very close. So we mm-hmm. decided to go to it. Uh, I believe when I looked it up, it said Twin Peaks. <gasps> I said the word. Should you not have? Well, I don't know. Maybe there'll be a sponsor. Maybe. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> so, uh, and, and it said it was a mountain-themed sports bar with lots of TVs. So we decided, okay, let's let's bolt over there really quick. Right. And I will say that the we maybe should have known by the name Twin Peaks and possibly even their logo. But where it said it was a mountain theme, I was like, okay, well, yeah, it's just mm-hmm. mountains. And, and we walked in and it was kind of like cabiny. Uh-huh. And the host gentleman had a flannel shirt on. Yep. So, and he went and sat us. There was not a lot of people around Mm-mm. at the time. And the, the game was coming on. So we were super excited. Yeah. So as I was uh, looking at my, um, I, I don't know when this occurred to you, but I was looking at the, the menu and it wasn't until our server came up and asked us what we'd like. That you actually looked up at the wait staff? Yes. Mm-hmm. And got quite a surprise. You did. Did you see that look on my face? Yeah. It was like, okay, you know how in those old cartoons where like one of the people's jaws will drop and their tongue rolls out? (laughs) It was like that kind of moment where you had that look on your face, your jaw was on the floor, and you froze. (laughs) But the tongue didn't roll out. No, well, no. Because usually that's... uh, That's obviously a cartoon. Well, yeah, but that's usually when they're like, hey, baby, that's, that's some hot stuff. Well, your eyes were doing that thing <laughs> that's because i was as i looked up to to my surprise we found out that uh twin peaks had a different meaning mm-hmm. uh and they were very little clothes on sc- scantily clad yes i would say mm-hmm. um so as you were saying hey sometimes it's great to have a partner to uh you know save you from from the doldrums in this particular case it was great to have a partner that saved me from looking and sounding like a complete idiot because mm-hmm. like i say you froze mm-hmm. and it was probably not very long but you know a couple of seconds long enough that it started to become awkward so i just ordered diet cokes for both of us yes <laughs> and she kind of just looked at me like acknowledging what had just happened but then walked off <laughs> So I was able to keep a cooler head than you. Yes, were. thank you. <laughs> and for the rest of the evening, 
Did we stay for the whole game or did we leave? We left because towards the end it was getting pretty bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was it was it was sad. Yeah, it was sad. Yes. But you were very uncomfortable uh, the <laughs> whole time. You didn't know where to look, you didn't know what to do or what to say. It was kind of funny. It was it was pretty bad. I left a large tip though. Yeah. Because I just I felt bad. <laughs> well, I mean they're choosing to work there. Yeah. They, I, I mean they, in great, right? I just don't want to be one of those guys. Like when when I, when I used to go to the gym, this is a while ago, but when I used to go to the gym, I would not look up. I was always afraid to look up because I was afraid that... Because you want to be oogling the girls. The right. I didn't want to be, you know, uh, or the men. Who, who knows? You never know. That is true. Yeah. You could give an impression. And so in that particular case... Pivot! Pivot. Had mm-hmm. to pivot. We did. Yep. So as we're sitting there trying to Google our Indian restaurant, mm-hmm. that was, of course, front of mind we didn't want to have that happen again right so we did a little more research this time Mm -hmm. checked the pictures looked at the reviews Mm -hmm. made sure that i mean i don't think there's an indian restaurant like that out there but what do we know you never know we're very white we are very white we don't know a lot of things i i I did some radio in college and they called me super whitey (laughs) accurate description yes we're about as white as you can get Mm -hmm. It's so white, in fact, that uh, back then I used to have a, it, this was back in the midi ringtone days. I I had Big Pimpin mm. on my cell phone as my ringtone. That's ironic and hilarious. It is hilarious. So the, the problem was, is I was a manager mm. at a telemarketing place and uh, forgot to silence my phone during a very big meeting when the vice president was down. Oh no. And it rang. <laughs> it rang. So I looked around trying to be like, oh, whose cell phone is this? But it was pretty obvious that it was mine. Mm-hmm. So I sheepishly reached in my pocket and silenced it. Then I kind of hoped that maybe nobody paid attention to it. Oh, they're not going to let that go. Oh, no. The vice president themselves said, hey, that's a great reminder to make sure your cell oh, phone is gosh. silenced. Oh, e. Yeah. I bet you just wanted to hide under the table at that point. Uh, by then, it was just, it was too late. I'm sure I was... The people around me could feel the heat emanating from mm-hmm. me. Has you blushed, yeah. I looked as red as my 49ers jersey on, is that I'm wearing right now. Gross. <laughs> What's gross is that Cowboys jersey you're no, wearing. Yeah. No. Um, and uh, so that was fun. So we, we did our research. Mm-hmm. And we ended up finding this really cute little Indian place that was delicious. Mm-hmm. It was pretty empty inside. There wasn't a lot of people there. But it was like in this... So there's this part of town that has like this almost like an Italian village that they've built to look that way, right? It's not actually an Italian village, obviously. Uh, Obviously. Obviously. It's not Italian. But it's part of that whole thing. So the building was very grand and beautiful, and there was a mural on the ceiling of the clouds. It was very pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And food was delicious. So once again, we pivoted. Mm -hmm. We were disappointed at first. But then we we never would have gone there otherwise, I think, because we had decided, look, there's just, this is our favorite place. This is where we're always going to go. Yeah, and I would say it was comparable with the other I would 100% say I would go there again tomorrow. I would too. Yeah, so, but there we go. Probably not tomorrow, but. Well, we'll see. Next Indian date night. Mm Mm-hmm. So pivot, again. Pivoting got us down here as well. It did. Yeah, Yeah, without a pivot, we wouldn't have ended up in Texas. That's true. I'm very thrilled with. Yes, I know. You, you really enjoyed that. <laughs> it was a little harder for me because we left some kiddos back in. Yeah, I do uh, miss the town. family a yes. lot. And the family. But uh, Texas, though, can't be beat with, you know, no snow. We were sick of the snow. Yeah. Um, but it, The sunshine, but, the warmth. Basically, what happened was we had... Uh, we... My job, which, you know, I had this, because I'm old enough that I had this, uh, you know, silly notion that you could still retire from someplace these days. Mm-hmm. Working for a healthcare organization, had been there quite a while, was a manager there. Yeah, like six years or something, yep. right? And they decided that uh, they wanted to, they got a new CEO, paid, got paid lots of money. Um, as I mentioned, I'm in the technology sector, so... Uh, technology is often looked at as um, a direct cost, even though ask somebody what they're going to do without their email mm-hmm. or their internet access. Yeah. They're going to cry. Well, you don't think about that, though. No, you don't. 
Um, and so then they decided to outsource us. And so when they decided to outsource us, I decided it was it was time to leave. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I tried a couple other jobs, which uh, but but somebody I met at that job, our good friend uh, the Hoopers, mm-hmm. um, they it, uh, he he called me and said, hey, I know you love the place that you work now. Maybe you should come down and work because I'm a manager here. So yeah, he he put in a good word for me. I went through the process, and then we ended up in Texas. Not too long after, I would say probably it only took like total maybe three months from uh, it was probably a little bit more than that i think we started talking in november and then by the time we actually got down here it was june it was yeah because we moved memorial day weekend right but uh the job was decided around what april or may mm-hmm. so had to leave like i said friends behind family uh we were very involved in soccer we were very involved in I had soccer. I believe that. Those were some of my saddest goodbyes, I yes, think. Yes, that, that was hard. I was the coach mm-hmm. for a soccer team that, uh, and actually the director of coaching for that uh, soccer club, too. So, yep. Although there are times that I don't miss that. There's a lot of stuff I don't miss about it, but I, mm-hmm. as you know, miss my two best friends. Yes, the yes, that's true. That was hard to leave. The, what did you call yourselves? Uh, SSMs. Mm-hmm. Sexy soccer moms. Sexy soccer moms. Yep. They were the sexy soccer moms. And there was one dad that was an honorary yeah. member of the sexy <laughs> soccer moms. It was, okay, so we would go and we would, like, sit through the practices or whatever. We were always at everything, the three of us, partly because I was the team mom, so I had to be there, but then they were just there as well. Uh, kind of free hangout sessions. But he was always there as well, and so we decided to make him an honorary SSM member, which... Everybody thought it was hilarious that he called himself a sexy soccer mom when he was a soccer dad. <laughs> it was good times. Good times indeed. So uh, pivoting. Pivoting can be, be good. Yeah. We don't always know why, and it's rough. It's very rough when you're going mm-hmm. through it. But then on the other side, then you can kind of look back with, I don't, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Pleasure, I guess, at the journey. Pleasure. I don't know. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I am not a religious person, Mm-mm. although we were raised religious, but we were. I am not religious, but I do feel like I can look back in my life and almost everything that's happened to me has happened for a reason that's led me to the place that I am now. I would agree with that. Yeah. Which has been good to keep in mind because I've been having some struggles at work lately too. Mm-hmm. And, uh, just trying to remind myself that, Hey, you know what? Even though this felt like the dream job and there's some things that haven't been super happy about it, it's just not meant to be right now. So yeah. I still have a job. That's right. And who knows, maybe the delay will have something else that's better come along or something. Maybe. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you, this look on your face is like, uh, this, is, this is unscripted. This. Well, this is because we didn't get enough in the show notes, I guess. But... When did you, or what helped you kind of stay on track, or when did you decide, hey, that I, I need to look at things better when I pivot? Um, I think, well, I mean, it's something I still struggle with, definitely. Oh, I think everybody does, no matter how good you are at it. Yeah. Um, honestly, I would say probably after meeting you, because, I mean, there were some... I was a little unlucky in love, I guess I would say. Part of it, my own fault. (laughs) (laughs) But having gone through all of those things made me who I was and then made me be able to appreciate you and our relationship and everything like that. So that definitely was a huge help in that department. But then it's just really experience. Like, Like we're talking about everything that happens that kind of sucks in the moment we end up making work. So because of that track record, I have this kind of like calm feeling that no matter what happens, we'll be able to make it work. We'll be able to figure it out because that's what we've done. Mm -hmm. And I I would agree that's that's a very big part of it. One of the things that I found was very helpful, which again came from from the work and Mm -hmm. maybe from, you know, a a source that... uh, is a little frustrating to me now, but um, 
I, I can't thank them enough for the opportunities they gave me and for the uh, the suggestion of this book called mm-hmm. Nobody Cares Until You Do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's by, I'm going to slaughter this guy's name, Salem Tyne, I think. Okay. T-H-Y-N-E and, and Robert Hunt. Um, very, very good book talking about being a victor, not a victim. Mm-hmm. Right? You've got to care before somebody else cares. Yeah. Um, and part of that's pivoting, right? Uh, their, their whole thing is this, this mountain journey, right? You, you, you start at the bottom of the mountain. You don't even know, you know, when you're below the mountain below below the mountain <laughs> uh when you're when you're climbing up it, it well when you're looking up at it you, right you're, you're not even sure hey i i want to climb up this mountain right right because uh, it just looks so huge right and, and then when you start you're like oh you know here i am i'm at the very top of it, it, it it's it's a whole journey mm-hmm. basically maybe maybe a, uh uh something for another time because Believe it or not, we're at 26 minutes already. Oh, wow. That was fast. Yeah, that was fast. Um, but basically, it it makes the point that even when you get up to the top, maybe when you're waiting for the helicopter, occasionally you fall. Mm-hmm. And then you have to start over to a certain degree. That's true. Also, sometimes you get to what you think is the top, and it just ends up being a flat part in the hill. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And there's one more hill. Mm-hmm. One more hill. Yeah. That you got to do. You just got to keep climbing. So anyway, great book. Uh, great pivots. Just so you know, uh, we will still have a pink show and concert. We'll, we will. We'll, we'll yeah. talk about that end of November. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's supposed to come right after Thanksgiving, so that'll be nice. Right. A nice way to celebrate my birthday. Ooh, that's right. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday to you. Well, I mean, not yet, but yeah, in November. Well, yeah, end of November. Yeah. Yes. So that'll be nice. And in between, we've got our 11-year anniversary. We do have our 11-year anniversary. We're also going to be going... Uh, back home to Utah to visit people. Oh, this next weekend, mm-hmm. which reminds me, we, we will put up a podcast. Yeah. But it'll probably be, uh, we did a lot of testing of recordings before we started our first episode last week. Oh, you still have all of those? Uh, I have some of them. Okay. And so I'm going to take the funniest clips, I think, and cobble them together and make a show out of it. Awesome. So. Sounds like a good plan to it'll, me. It'll be the one while we're gone or something like that yeah the one while we're gone yeah that's what we'll have to work on the title there yeah maybe the one that we i don't know yeah we'll figure it out yeah uh okay so uh a couple minutes left thank you again for uh listening in on us uh anything you want to add any other experiences that you want to talk about the 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 the, the pivoting um pivot pivot <laughs> <laughs> honestly i don't i don't know i mean there's been lots of things that we've done in our lives both of our lives where we thought we were going to be one place and we aren't there or weren't there mm-hmm. and i think really it's just about being okay to see where things go right because like at work for example they will be talking about one of their old colleagues or somebody that they know my coworkers. And it will sometimes make me feel like, okay, well, that person's only 35 and they've already done so much and I'm 41 and I've done nothing, right? So it's hard to not think those things and you have to just remind yourself to to just be okay with where things are and see where they go, if that makes sense. No, it makes a lot of sense. I think all you can do is control what you can control and often that's how you approach it. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, everything else is pretty much out of your control. Right. Everything else is out of your control. So, so you just have to decide, okay, I'm going to be okay with waiting to see where this goes. Yeah. And if I'm not, I'm going to get help. Mm-hmm. So definitely go out there, get help. Yeah. We've done counseling ourselves. Still are. Yeah. yeah. I'm still in yeah. therapy. And we reach out to other people, mm-hmm. uh, listen to music. Lean on our support network. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of, I play video games. Yeah. You just have to find out what works for you. That's right. And if it's not working, then change it. Walking outside in nature, super helpful yeah, too. I don't love that. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't, but I do. That is. I should. Cool. I just don't, because I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't want to move my body. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I guess it, there we are at our, our thirty minutes almost. So um, that's all for today, Dink Nation. All right. Uh, until next time. Keep, Keep dinking, dinking around. around.